Sometimes the gaming industry likes to remind us that it really stinks. And in this situation, the otherwise critically acclaimed release of Dragon's Dogma 2 has been tainted by the fact that its developer, Capcom, has released a slew of microtransactions alongside the already pricey game. As it turns out, you can pay a bunch of real-life money for items such as wake stones, which are used to revive, and certain fast travel features. Capcom has been quick to announce that you can earn all of these items in-game, but it still taints the experience of a beloved action RPG when a developer thinks it's a good idea to squeeze as much money out of players as possible. Microtransactions as a concept have certainly become a meme at this point. I'll back it in there. From Horse Armor and Oblivion being one of the first in a single player game, to the Battlefront 2 reboot Darth Vader Unlock taking 40 hours of gameplay, unless you paid for loot boxes with real money to speed up the process. There have been many moments in history when the internet has taken a firm stand against what ultimately is often a predatory practice, charging people for a full priced game and then telling them that actually you should be spending more money on items and boosters. It makes more sense for a freemium game to do the same thing because you kind of know what you're getting into in that situation, but for Dragon's Dogma 2, a weird yet wonderful cult experience, it simply cheapens and lessens the game by magnitudes. This is a shame because it's renowned for excellent combat and world building, and the past few days have seen people regarding it as a breath of fresh air in an otherwise generic sea of AAA releases. This, coupled with optimization frustrations and de novo implementation, have seen Steam reviews plummet as the game has been swamped with negative comments. Again, it's worth noting many of the game's fans are quick to point out the fact that the paid DLC can be earned in-game relatively quickly, but many argue this does not make the microtransactions okay. I can get this book. Like, I don't need to spend real-life money. At any rate, it's clear the gaming community feels shortchanged whenever they are pressed to spend more just to have fun. And rightly so. The gaming industry is now a $100 billion powerhouse, making more money than ever before in human history. One would assume this would mean large studios would have the time and capability to release their products in perfectly playable states, and not attempt to chuck in microtransactions. In short, not only has Dragon's Dogma 2 become a meme because of its implementation of an unpopular practice, but it also marks the meme of the gaming industry being scummy as a whole, unwilling to cut those who love it a break. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>